The ETV Platinum Plus from Heat Timer is an electronic domestic hot water tempering valve control capable of operating one or two motorized mixing valves to regulate the system water temperature. Prior to installing the ETV valve and system piping and components, the installer must determine the valve location. The installer must consider any new or existing piping, access for service, and the orientation of the ETV valve body. The ETV valve body allows the flexibility of interchanging the A and B inlet ports. The typical ETV valve installation has the cold supply in the A port of the valve and the hot supply in the B port, with the mixed being supplied at the AB port. An alternative installation of the ETV valve is a configuration with the hot supply in the A port of the valve and the cold supply in the B port, with the mixed being supplied at the AB port. It is important that the AB port in any configuration is always the mixed outlet on the valve. When installing the ETV valve in this alternative configuration, the installer must reset dip switch 1 on the actuator to the off position. The installer must follow general piping practices when installing the ETV valve, with proper use of shutoff valves, unions, and drains to allow servicing of all plumbing components, sensors, and the ETV valve body. If the installation of the ETV valve includes the optional heat timer safety valve for protection against high temperature, the safety valve must be installed on the hot supply from the water heaters to the ETV valve. The location of the building recirculation piping back into the system piping is of the utmost importance to ensure proper ETV valve operation. The building recirculation must be piped into the cold supply piping prior to the T, where cold supply is directed to the ETV valve and to the water heating source. This location ensures the building recirculation flow during periods of no demand remains balanced between the ETV valve and the water heating source. To demonstrate the importance of properly locating the building recirculation into the system piping, consider when the ETV valve is fully closed or 100% cold. In this condition, the building recirculation flow is only through the ETV valve. If the ETV valve is fully open or 100% hot, the building recirculation will only flow through the water heating source. If the building recirculation is only piped back to the water heat source, then during periods of no demand, there is a potential of having no flow on the cold inlet of the ETV valve. Having no flow on the cold inlet of the ETV valve due to improper piping of the building recirculation will result in the ETV Platinum module not being able to maintain the desired mixed temperature. It is also important for proper ETV operation that the building recirculation is continuous as this prevents the potential growth of Legionella bacteria. The installer must include a heat trap loop at the water heating source to prevent any heat migration back through the cold inlet piping to the ETV valve. The installer may opt to use spring check valves if the location of the water heating source does not permit the piping of a heat trap loop. If the building has a requirement for high temperature water, such as for a laundry or kitchen demand, then its supply piping is piped prior to the ETV valve or prior to the optional safety valve if included. It is also important that any recirculation from the laundry or kitchen high temperature demands must be a separate recirculation from the ETV valve low temperature piping and be directed to the water heating source only. For applications with potential high usage demands for tempered water, the installer may opt to use two ETV valves piped in parallel. In this configuration, it's important that the ETV valves are manifold piped in such a manner to ensure balanced flow. Remember only a single ETV Platinum control module is required 
as it can modulate each valve actuator to achieve a single mixed outlet temperature. Subscribe to the Heat Timer channel for more installation tips.